Good morning, Lakeside, and welcome to the Lakeside Viking News. I'm Braden Webb, and today is October 19th. Let's get right into the announcements. In-person early voting has begun in Georgia. If you are 18 years or older and registered to vote, you can register at the nearest polling location with hours right here. Election Day is November 3rd, where Georgians will have the opportunity to vote for president, senator, and several other state and local offices. Registered voters may also submit an absentee ballot now until Election Day. The FAFSA completion event will be held on October 22nd at 4.30 p.m. There will be a live FAFSA demo and you complete the application while you watch. Register at this right here. A Microsoft Teams invite will be sent after you register. The ladies softball team went 2-0 with a 15-0 win over Langston Hughes on senior night and another 19-4 win over Westlake. Wow. Today, the Vikings will host the first round of the region playoffs. They will play Northside at 1 p.m. for a doubleheader. Fans will be allowed, but they must be ch bring chairs. We hope you can come and support the Vikings for the beginning of their region tournament. And now, for a moment of silence. Now, to Deanna with the news. What's up, Lakeside? I'm Deanna, and I'm here with the current events. The U.S. is seeing another spike, averaging more than 55,000 new cases a day, as the country heads into what health experts say will be the most challenging months of the pandemic. As of Saturday, more than 8.1 million cases of the virus have been reported, and more than 219,000 people have died. Only Missouri and Vermont recorded more than a 10% improvement rate over the past week. Cases in Connecticut and Florida, on the other hand, increased by 50% or more. 27 states saw spikes between 10% and 50%, with cases static in the remaining states. A decade-long UN arms embargo on Iran expired Sunday as planned under its nuclear deal with world powers. While insisting it planned on no buying spree, Iran in theory can purchase and produce weapons to upgrade its military. In practice, however, Iran's economy remains crippled by broad-reaching U.S. sanctions and other nations may avoid arms deals in fear of American financial reactions. The Trump administration, despite their efforts to stop the lift on the ban, have insisted it has re-invoked all U.N. sanctions on Iran via a clause in the nuclear deal that all other countries ignored. Now to Lucas with the weather. Hey, it's your trusty weatherman, Lucas here, and I've been working on this umbrella. This stupid thing is not open. Now it opens. So, my analysis of the weather, I, I think it's getting colder. Yeah, definitely getting colder. Um, so, you might want to break out those swimsuits, you know. Swimsuits, sunglasses, sunscreen. Yeah. I mean, that's, for, that's for warmer weather. So, is someone gonna go get that? I, I have to go get it? <sighs> so, today's high is gonna be 75 with a low of 55. Um, over the course of the week at night, over the course of the week, we should see temperatures staying relatively the same with a high in the upper 70s and lows around 60. It's back to you, Brandon. I don't get paid enough for this. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a marvelous Monday.